missed the horse again. Oh, I took a break from uh, making uh, guitar videos because I finished 225 guitar exercises. So I thought, well, you know, I really felt uh, I deserve some time off. So that's what I did. But I'm back. Now, going into real music, and there are two repertoires. I mean, two in two languages. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, according to language, two repertoires: Chinese and English. Okay, so. I decided to to work on the Chinese songs first. Okay, even though there are you know fewer, there are only thirty Chinese songs, and uh, but there are ninety five English songs. Okay, now the reason I uh, have chosen to to begin with Chinese songs is mainly that's the root of my entire you know guitar journey or music journey musical journey that is the root the origin and the reason I started playing guitar and I think I explained you know I, I talk I mentioned this in the past it was because singing okay it, it was because I, so I can accompany myself on the guitar to sing certain songs now what are these songs okay I that's 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 the thing not not just any songs right I mean it's not just okay no it it was this particular, this really extraordinary, special repertoire of Chinese music, Chinese songs, okay? And uh, because it's so extraordinary, I'm going to call this repertoire or this style of Chinese vocal music. This is not instrumental, this is singing. I'm gonna call this repertoire the highest form of Chinese music. The highest form of Chinese music. Okay. I borrow this term from Nietzsche, German philosopher Nietzsche. You know, he was looking for, when he was alive, he was looking for the highest form of music. So, so, you know, uh, so I'm going to use this uh, phrase, okay, the highest form of Chinese music is this repertoire. And uh, because, it was, because it's so extraordinary, because it's so magnificent, that motivate me, encourage me to play guitar, you know. So that's why uh, I want to start with that because it's the root, okay. It's the root of my entire music journey. Another reason, of course, is I I am very, very proud of presenting this to you, okay? I mean, now this is an English channel, yeah, so I'm talking to people who speak English, okay? The 
Westerners, most of you. I mean, I mean, there are, of course, there are Chinese people who uh, also uh, watch vid uh, YouTube videos, and uh, I mean, Chinese, you know, uh, in the Western who live in the Western world who speak English when they're watching you now. But also, there are well here in Taiwan, YouTube is available, right? In China. I, officially, I mean, YouTube is not, you know, uh, available, right? So anyway, so I mean, there are a certain number of Chinese people watching this. But, you know, because most, I think, I mean, I'm hoping that most of the viewers are going to be non-Chinese, uh, Westerners. So, you know, um, not only because it's the root of my music development, you know, it's, I'm very, very proud of this repertoire of Chinese music. I'm so proud of, you know, of this, you know, the quality and the, I mean, just the music, the, the, the songs that I would like to introduce you know the songs to the westerners you know i mean of course i mean when if, if you're really part of something of some achievement that is done by your people okay you would like to share it you would like to i mean I, i'm not you know not, not not displaying you know not 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 to to boast about it no you just want to share with people Okay, hoping they would also enjoy, appreciate, because it's so beautiful, right? First thing now there is this the language barrier, okay. Uh, but on the other hand, beautiful music is beautiful music, right? I mean, it trans it can transcend to a degree, to an extent that. Barrier. I mean, of course, there are a lot of things. I mean, this repertoire of music, the highest form of Chinese music, is, of course, Chinese. You know, it's Chinese in nature. Okay, especially, it's vocal music. It's not instrumental. I mean, instrumental. You can say why well, there is no language used, so it's it's more maybe more universal, more objective. I mean, I don't know what's the best word to you know. It's not tied, to, you know, a, a, a attached to a specific culture, a group of people. Yes, I mean it's definitely you know correct. Less. Okay, but it doesn't. It's not. It's not attached. It's less compared to vocal music. Vocal music, you have to use language, right? So, in order to understand, I mean, truly understand the meaning, not a meaning. I mean, not just the meaning. You know, the emotion. You know, emotions in this. You know, in this music, you have to be Chinese. It's not enough to be to speak Chinese language. I mean it, that is not enough. It's not sufficient. Okay. You speak Chinese, but you're not Chinese. Right? A lot of people now, a lot of people in the West, they're learning, you know, Mandarin. Okay. So they can speak Chinese. A lot of you know people live in China. A lot of, you know, I mean, Westerners, you know, who parents work in China, so they were born in China, and then, anyway, they uh, they speak Chinese. They speak fluent Chinese, very good Chinese. But they're not Chinese. So, of course, they're going to understand these songs much deeper than, you know, uh, people who have absolutely no knowledge of Chinese language. But 
that person's understanding. You know, a non-Chinese who speaks Chinese language is not the same as a person who is Chinese. Now, of course, even among Chinese people, native speakers, their understanding, their appreciation gonna be different. They're all different levels. But, so, okay. But to truly, to truly understand, to truly appreciate the beauty of this repertoire of songs, the number one criteria, criteria or the prerequisite or requirement is you have to be Chinese. Okay, so that is the nature of, now, you know, we can say, well, the highest form of vocal music, the, the classic, the classic music of any, any ethnic group. Okay, the best music of any, you know, uh, various, you know, ethnic group is going to be the ethnic music based on the language okay of that group of people so the best Chinese songs I mean of course you know I mean from the, the perspective of Chinese it's going to be Chinese Chinese songs that's the best so anyway I'm proud I'm really proud to to introduce this to you, I mean, of course, um, I mean you can listen to it. I don't, I don't expect you to learn how to sing and and, and play the guitar. You know, really, these songs. That the reason I, I, you know, uh, I create videos of these Chinese songs, even to for Western people, is you know really just to introduce, so you can you know. Uh, Heck, you know, have the opportunity to be exposed to it. This is the best Chinese music, Chinese songs. Okay. But I mean, you know, I mean, really, you know, uh, it, this, this, the videos, I mean, the guitar uh, uh, arrangement, the guitar complement and the videos is, is for, you know, Chinese people. Because I would love, I would like to see Chinese people know what is the best. I mean, you have to know yourself. You have to know your own culture, right? What's the best music, vocal music, you know, in your own culture? Okay. A lot of people don't know. Okay. Because of this, you know, this is not contemporary. I mean, it's not popular music, you know. It's not, it's not, it's not even from this century. Okay, anyway, I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to uh, use another video. I'm going to continue because, you know, this, this is an important uh, introduction. You know, I'm going to, I'm giving you background information about this 30 songs. So I will continue to explain more, to give you more information in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.